Okay, so we're going into fall 26. Uh, we're going to wrap up fall today, probably. Um, so the plan for today... I guess I can make one more heavy tapper. I think I have a couple heavy tappers to put somewhere. i got to check to get my coffee out of the greenhouse. Um, I did discover last time that it is still worth it for me to, even in year two, to buy all the resources I need for kegs. Um, if I ever do this run again, I'll probably just buy everything for kegs in the first place. I don't know. Uh, if I just use my prime. Well, thank you very much, Piano Addict. Have a good night. Hope your stardew career is going excellently. Um... Oh yeah, so there's some wine that's done in the house, so I gotta replace that, and then I have a few rock crabs to get, um, which I'm probably just gonna try and bang out, because the rock crab situation is three. I only need three more rock crabs, so I'll probably just bang those out real quick, and then um, basically, yeah, just do the skull caverns for resources and for the 33 mummies and 51 serpents that I need. And then we'll be done the monster slayer, uh, I should have the last star drop fairly soon. I think this week, next week, something like that in game. Um, and then we're cooking recipes is just a matter of time, really. So here we go. Already forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Heavy tapper, greenhouse, blah blah. blah. Okay. I'm gonna have to decide what we're gonna do for kegs. Do I buy all the kegs? Oh, let's give. Uh, Give Maru a gold bar now. There we go. There we go. Oh! There we go! That was it! Apparently I just got the last star drop today. Sweet! That is all the star drops. Yes, it reminds me of cake. Mmm, cake. Alright, sweet. So, yeah, that's our third... What? It's only 12 and a half hearts. I thought it was 13 and a half hearts. I didn't, whatever, I don't care. Uh, okay, great. So I just gotta keep gifting Maru and stuff, get her to 14 hearts. Should not be a problem. Um, and yeah, sweet deal. We got it. Okay, so we'll do kegs, I think, at the end of the day. Um, I do need to see how much uh, hardwood I've got. I have no hardwood. Uh, how much do I need for a heavy tapper? I need 30, and I have 17. That's no problem, I can get 13 hardwood. What do we have going on here? Linus, Linus sent us some... Wow, Linus sent us some sashimi. Say that fast six times. Alright, let's drink a triple shot. Let's grab the oak resin that we need so very, very much. Linus and Lucy, what's up, Andrew Hetzel? Yeah, basically, I need to... I need to make sure that whatever I do, whenever I have an oak resin... Oh, I forgot my animation cancelling. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Whenever I have an oak resin, th that I make a keg from it. Uh, three more. Now, Charlie Brown song is a nightmare on piano. I have tried to play that before, I'm not gonna lie. It is challenging for me, anyways. It's deceptively difficult. It's just, it's because of the syncopation, it's just deceptively difficult. Alright, so, Heavy Tapper. Great, so now... Where do I put them? Let's just find somewhere... Again, I hate to do this. I should have paid closer attention to where the... To where the, uh... There we go. Should have paid closer attention to where the, um... Oak, oak resin was. Oh well, next time. Uh, cartoon songs. Alright, let's grab the fruit. And we'll grab the coffee beans, go make some coffee. Actually, maybe I'll... Since I do have some... Uh, Ooh, I got an ancient fruit. So, since I do have some kegs that are done, maybe I'll... Uh, maybe I'll leave behind here? No. Maybe I'll... Um, whatchamacallit? Put the coffee in those kegs. 
We'll see how much I have left once I fill up these ones. Okay, I do have eight oak resin. So I need two more copper bars and a bunch of wood. So maybe we'll swing by Robins and buy some wood as well. Uh, what do we have here? One of those off. Grab those four. Grab that one. Beautiful. Very nice. Uh, before I do anything else, though, let me drop an ancient fruit in, like, down here somewhere. Then... So that's that many. Oh yeah, there'll be enough kegs. I'll just do it all right here. There we go. I guess I'll just grab all those. Okay. So, let me as well grab this too. Oh, actually, I picked up a truffle, didn't I? Let's do that. Lovely. Got enough of them? No! <laughs> no, I don't, actually. That's, that's, that's the thing. I really don't. Do I have any copper ore? I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. I have enough. I have enough. Assuming... I have enough, assuming... Oh, I should sell some stuff, too. Um... I don't have any more oak resin up at the train station or something. So let's go check that. Um, why do I have two Omni Geodes on me? Oh, there's a good question. Why do you suppose? Okay, I think I put the mines back on easy mode, so I don't think I need to carry the hardwood with me anymore. I do, however, want to get some wood. So, yeah, maybe let's go see Robin. Um, oh, there's the truffle there. I'm like, why can't I walk there? Is Robin even at home on a Friday? I don't even know. Oh, she is. There she is. Okay, so, shop. I need... 200... No, wait, hold on. How many... 30 per keg? 40 per keg? 30 per keg. So I need... 240 wood. Two hundred and forty, beautiful. Uh, I need two more copper bars. Let's go see if I have any more um oak resin. If I have any more oak resin that I'll um we might have a bunch of wood here too, actually. Oh, and we have what do the four more oak resin? So let me go with... I need to get some copper. Um, so my goal is to get these 12 oak resin converted into kegs before the end of the day. So that means I need 360... wood. Yike. Um, but I also need six more copper bars. And I only have enough coal to make two more. So I need to harvest enough coal to get four more copper bars. Um, but... Let's try and get some more wood here. Again, is it really worth replanting at this point? It's probably not, actually. Let me just confirm that trees do not grow in winter. I'm pretty sure they don't. If they don't, it's not worth... When a sheet has a terrible pun on it. Um, growth cycle. No, wait, that's... Okay, so maple... Trees grow from maple seed. Let's look at oak. I'm mainly planting oak. Oak trees. So. Uh, median time to maturity 24 days. One, one wood. Stump, spring, summer, fall, winter. I don't think they grow in winter, though. I don't know why I think that. Growth cycle. Okay, let's do this. Um, fertilized seeds and seedlings will grow even in winter. Otherwise, trees do not grow at all in winter. So I probably should replant. Because if I get more... Fertilizer, I can just plant more trees. And they will grow. 
good to know. Got 336. This is good, actually. This is, we're getting some good wood here. Probably didn't need to buy any wood, to be honest. Not today, anyways, but it's all going to get used, so it's okay. Whoops, that's not even remotely what I wanted to do. Keep cutting. What's up, Traits? How you doing? Want to check see how you're doing? Haven't been here in a while. Yeah, it has been a while. I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Hope you hope everything's good with you. Hope you're staying safe. Been doing this Stardew Valley challenge now for it's been a while actually. I'm trying to think how long ago it was as I started this, but um, yeah, I'll be going back to doing some music streams once I finish this challenge. I'm going to be doing some other game other game stuff as well, but um, yeah. I will be back to incorporating music streams as part of my Twitch streaming extravaganza. Uh, soon, probably. How are you doing? What's up with you? Just started school a few days ago. Pretty good as of now. Sweet, sweet. Good here. I guess it is that time of year, isn't it? School's, school is starting up. All right. Um. Whoops, I should have put those tappers somewhere. Oh well. Okay, so let's see here. I need... Six copper bars. I got three on the go. All right, let's find some copper. Okay, I did put the mine back to regular mines. Sometimes being on a roll with the song right now. Occasionally it happens, yeah. For me, the hard part is starting. Oh, for goodness sakes. Don't need these goofy levels. For me, the hard part is definitely just kind of getting started. Once I sit down and start writing, I can usually bang stuff out. I mean, <laughs> with varying degrees of success, I admit. Um, but yeah. Ooh, rock crab. Don't I still need rock crabs or something? Is it rock crabs that I need? Which one does I need? I'm pretty sure it's rock crabs. Yeah, now, now I only need two rock crabs. Sweet. I should really be on the lookout for these raw crabs, actually. I see any rocks that look rock crabby. Should grab some uh, fiber as well to make some more tree fertilizer. Gotta keep doing that. Glad I downloaded a program to write and save my tunes. Yeah, for sure, dude. Always good. I tell you, I'm not finding a lot of uh, a lot of copper right now. It's a little bit more. Oh, there's a little bit more. I'm trying to looking looking for like rocks that are kind of out of place, aren't totally matched up to the grid of where rocks should spawn. On the off chance that I find the elusive rock crab. I just need two more. And once I get these two, I'm probably just going to do a whole bunch of Skull Cavern runs. It's probably where I'm going to be spending most of my time. Unlike the rock lobster. Do, 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 do. We had, um, so we made a lovely dish that I had growing up. We made salt fish, there's a rock crab, and fried dumplings tonight for supper. Almost a year. Woof, mercy. 347 days. Um, an integral part 
of saltfish and dumplings is onion. And oh boy, am I feeling it. My eyes are really unhappy with me. Because the, the onion's real. Okay, I've got enough copper now. Let me go throw this in a... Do I have coal? I have 45 coal. Alright. So this will be enough copper to... Four? Yeah, that'll be enough to finish with the kegs for today. Um, that sounds so good. It really is. Yeah, it's basically um, uh, salted cod. Um, or it's cod that's preserved in salt. Um, yeah, you sort of have to desalt it because it comes just like, I mean, it's, it's salt preserved, right? So it's like there's salt coating it, there's salt absorbed into it. So you have to like desalt it. So you boil it, might boil it a bit or like rinse it really well and try and get as much, much salt out as you need to, to make it taste good. And then, um, yeah, a bit of onion, a generous helping of black pepper. And then fried dumplings, which are like super, super uh, simple and easy to make. It's like, there's nothing, nothing to it really. It's just like flour, you know, a bit of salt, a bit of baking powder. Two peanuts, one, one was salted. Um, anyways, yeah, it's just something that, um, it's a Jamaican dish that my dad used to make when, I, when we were growing up. And it's just a complete treat for me to have. So I learned how to make it myself. And we had that for supper tonight. And it was rather tasty. Getting better at making it too. It's, it, the, the trickiest part is getting the salt out of it. Because um, it can be... Like, it's kind of like, you can't put the salt back in once you take the salt out. So if you desalt it too much, it ends up being super bland and that doesn't work. So you kind of have to... It's a, it's a bit of a, a bit of an art to it. But if you can nail it, it's delish. It's totes, my totes amaze balls, as the kids say. All right, so let's throw on some kegs here. Let's put a couple there, and then maybe I'm gonna do it like this. Nope, screw that up. Land not hype. True story. All right, so I want to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll put a few more. Oh, I've got two. I've got three more. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, I guess. And then maybe I could go one more this way. So I could put one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven more kegs in the house is the goal. Um, seven more kegs in the house, that is the ultimate goal. So as soon as I get, actually I might just, I'll just put stuff in these kegs right now. And grab some star fruit. Uh, this one. And I should really deal with my inventory. I've got way too much crap in my inventory right now. Those kegs empty. And that one. Weird. Okay. Everything's looking pretty good. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. How much hay do I have in my silo? 141. Okay, we're good. I'm going to sell the pig as soon as we hit winter anyway, so... Not too worried about that. Great. Alright. Looking good. Okay, let's go deal with some inventory. I'd like to find that rock crab. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that today. Maybe I'll just see if I can go rock crab hunting. I guess I could sell these diamonds too. I don't really need to keep those anymore. Uh, what else can I sell? Quartz, may as well sell the sashimi. Potentially use it for food, I guess. That uh, looks pretty good. Let's drop the jade in there to take to the desert. Uh, I may as well make whatever free fertilizer I can. There's four. It's better than nothing. 
Let me drop off these tappers. I feel bad not putting them on trees, but... Um, I don't know. I guess I'll put them inside or something. I can't sell them, can I? I guess I could break them down. Maybe I'll get some copper bars for them. That's a good idea. I can throw them in here. Uh, okay, so let's go back. We'll head to the... Um, whatchamacallit? Oh, I need to make more triple shot. Head to the train station. I'll put this tree fertilizer down. And, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Put the tree fertilizer down. Then we'll head over to the mine, see if we can find that last rock crab that we need. Oh, wow, look at all the truffles. Sweet. Thank you, pig. All right. Uh, train. I know I planted some trees. There's definitely some of them somewhere that need something. Like that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Beautiful. Every little bit helps. Okay, so let's go... Yeah, let's go find, try to find a rock crab. Let's do it. Should not be that difficult to find when life gives you melons. I wonder if I should use my... Um, my monster musk. It's kind of, kind of uh, late in the day, though. A little worried about that. Uh, let me just confirm. Rock crabs. Where do these guys spawn? So rock crabs spawn between one and twenty-nine. Um. Lava crabs spawn 80 to 119. I think I'd rather do the rock crab because I'd rather have the chance to get some copper. So let's go to 25 again, I guess. Let's see. Not seeing anything that looks amiss right now. It was the monster musk. Oh, there's uh, some copper. Uh, thank you. Get a little bit more uh, fiber as well. Anything here look weird? No. Oh, there's some more copper. At some point, I'm gonna have to do. We're gonna have to make a decision about uh, what you call it, coal as well. Hey, what's up, Dev? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Welcome in. Don't think I've seen you before. Welcome to you. going on? What's up? Just doing this uh, perfection into your challenge. Well, at the moment, I'm just doing cleanup stuff. So I've got some rock crabs to kill. So I'm trying to find a rock crab. Any Stardew Valley tips? Um, how long have you been playing? That's the first question I have to ask you. Are you like super brand new or have you been playing for a while and you're looking for, for like the next thing? You seem like an expert. No. Far from it, but thank you. No, I mean, I've, I've just played, you know, some. All right, time to go home. Let me just throw my copper in. Ooh, nice. Um, if you're if you're new to the game, um, what I would say is just play. Just get hours under your belt, you know, get to know the villagers, what they like and don't like, um, that sort of thing. Um, if you're looking for um, some different challenges or things to do, um, what I would say then, what would I say then? Um, 
like the, ga the game does a pretty good job at like kind of walking you through i've played a few farms in the first few seasons yeah the game does a really good job of, of like walking you through all the things ignore all the kegs i have by the way um it does a really good job of walking you through everything so it really like it does a good job of like holding your hand and saying did you choose bats or mushrooms i chose bats um and i'll tell you why I'm glad you asked um I chose bats because bats give you fruit and when you're trying to complete the community center, which I do, um, having access to more fruit is more useful than having access to the mushrooms because you can get the mushrooms just by foraging for them. Um, and you can also get purple and red mushrooms in the mines, but um, the fruit is harder to get. So that's why I choose I choose bats. I choose bats, and then and then once I get enough money and can spare the money, I'll plant fruit trees. And uh, where's Maru? I'll plant fruit trees and get fruit that way. Where is Maru now? Is she outside already? Do you think fruits are better? For 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 the things I do, yes. For the things I do, they're definitely better. Uh, okay, where where'd she go? Is she in the house, hiding in a corner somewhere, or is oops? No, okay. Where is she? Oh, there she is, okay. Okay. Guess no kissy for me. Um, villager gets a concussion from a fallen coconut. So yeah, the, the, yeah, like I said, the good news is that the game does a really good job of, of walking you through everything. And you know, when, when you're digging up artifact spots and you get those books, um, those books have a lot of tips as well. They'll kind of say, oh, don't forget about this and that sort of thing. So there's a lot of good, uh, cool stuff you can do. You're the first person I think that said that, that said bats. I used to think mushrooms. Um, but I changed my mind because, like I say, when you're trying to complete the community center, having access to the fruit makes that bundle, that one bundle, a lot easier. Um, oh, I can't even look at it now. But there's a particular bundle that's, um, that uh, is just way easier to deal with um, if you have the bat cave. Speaking of which, let's actually go check it out. Let me drink a triple shot so I can move a bit faster. But yeah, honestly, I would just this 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 game is is super deep. There's a lot to it. I mean, if you if you've only played a few seasons, Artisan definitely Artisan. If you want to make some money, yep. Um, if like if you want to make some money, like I say, because for me usually I'm trying to make money to do certain things like this perfection challenge um, that I'm doing. Money's kind of important, so um, definitely Artisan. Um, do, 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 do. Sell that. Okay, I have 18 oak resin. That's going to pose a problem for my resources. Can you buy fruit from the traveling cart? Uh, you can. Um, but it's kind of unreliable and it's, I mean, it costs you money. So, um, it's not an ideal thing. Artisan bundle is the one. Oh yes, artisan bundle. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. I thought you meant the, um, the artisan, uh, the what is it, farming skill where your artisan goods, your wine, cheese, oil are worth 40% more. Um, which I also pick, but, um, yeah, the artisan bundle. Yeah. Um, let's have a look here. Pantry. Nope. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. So the thing about this bundle right here, is that you need, I think, what, six of these? So if you can get, so like getting honey is not too bad, of, too big of an issue, um, as long as you have the maple syrup. Getting jelly is super easy. You get preserved jars pretty early. Um, but like getting the goat cheese and the cheese, it can take a while to get a barn and get the barn upgraded so you can get a goat, for example, to get goat cheese. Um, so, and you know, for a cloth, if you want to make cloth, you have to have a sheep. So there's a lot of things you'd have to do before you could complete that. If you're trying to complete it quickly, then 
yeah, just having access to those to those fruits. And also, there's going to be there there are story based quests um, that need certain fruits. Like I think Emily wants an apricot at one point, um, and then things like uh, Gus I think loves oranges. Elliot loves pomegranates if you're giving them gifts. So a lot of advantages there. What do you use for health in the mines? Whatever I can get my hands on. Um, so one of the things that I do, like I say, using fruit from the fruit mines is good. Foraging is good. Um, if you're at the point where you can get some fruit trees, you can get fruit trees. Like right now I have 172 apricots because I have a whole bunch of fruit trees in the greenhouse. So um, I'm just like, if I ever need to spam a whole bunch of things, they don't give you a lot of energy, but if I, I can eat 10 or 20 of them and still have lots left, right? So, um, and then cooking. I mean, this is all stuff that I've made. Uh, in the game for various reasons or received or whatever um, so you've got all sorts of food stuffs you can make if you want to do that um, yeah yeah whatever you can get your hands on even things like green algae white algae once you get the recipe for algae soup you make algae soup or once you get the recipe for bug steak you take your bug meat that you're getting can turn it into bug steak that sort of thing uh, okay what do I need to do I need to make 18 kegs so I need 12 copper bars yike and I need a lot of wood. What's 18 times 30? Uh, well, 3 times 18 is 30, plus 24 is 54. I need 540 wood. Yike, I need double the wood. I know that I liked having life elixirs. I'm not sure what I would replace it with. To be honest with you... Yeah, once you have access to the desert... You can start getting things like spicy eel. You can trade at the desert trader. Um, you can trade them for rubies. Um, so once you start getting, once you get access to that, um, you can get food that way. Um, there's a whole other area that was just that was recently added to the game, um, where you can get some really powerful, like really super healthy mushroom. But that's pretty late game though. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes you just have to, like, go into a round of food, or fish, honestly. If you're really in a pinch, I would just fish. Um, especially early in the game, fish are really good for that. So what I'm doing, because I'm basically doing this challenge run, I'm doing things I would not normally do. So, um, I wouldn't normally have this place covered with trees. Um, I wouldn't normally... Oh, actually, I can make a couple more tree fertilizers. Oh, I don't have any stone on me. Where's my stone? Weird. Um... I wouldn't normally have a house full of kegs. That sort of thing. You do make a good point about the fruit cave, though. It's worth it. Like I say, it just depends on how you're playing, right? Like, if getting the community center done is a goal for you, if that's something you really want to do, then, yeah, having the fruit cave is helpful for sure. Um, it just depends on what your goals are and how quickly you want to accomplish stuff, right? Like, if you're just, if you're just doing a casual run of playthrough, like, who cares, right? Like, do whatever you want. If you're just doing a casual playthrough, honestly, I would probably do... I, I, would, I would definitely think about doing mushrooms. Because... Um, they kind of They're kind of better for food in the early game. Like, early on, they're better for food than whatever random fruit you're going to get, probably. And more consistently better. Um, I've done playthroughs where I had the mushroom cave... And uh, that was, you know, I basically had mushrooms, like I have apricots now, right? Like I would, I would use the, the common mushrooms I would get as my main source of food. Um, I do want to finish the community center. Oh yeah, for sure. And you can still do it without, without having that, right? Like if you need though, if you need six things, if you went say cloth, goat cheese, cheese, honey, jelly, one, two, three, four, five, and then truffle oil. You could get all of those just with animals. I mean, not the jelly, but I mean, the jelly you can get, you could throw a, um, in the, when, let's see, what do you get, what do you forge in the summer? You get, 
Crap, I can't remember. What do you forge in the summer? Spring is wild horseradish. Spring onions. Daffodils, dandelions. Leeks. Summer is... <laughs> can't remember. Summer is grapes, spice berries, and sweet peas. So yeah, you could throw a spice berry in a pre drip jar to get spice berry jelly or a grape to get the jelly. Um, and honey is just a matter of making a bee house. Um, so you could totally do, do the community center without the fruit cave. But like I say, for me, trying to get things done quickly and everything, having the fruit cave was kind of clutch. You can get jelly from melons. Absolutely, yeah. You can get jelly pretty much from any fruit and then you get pickles from any vegetable i think that's right i think that's how that works so yeah one there one there one there how much wood do i have okay i have enough wood now maybe i should hmm. should i leave these for now i probably shouldn't actually should make a point of getting all these. Wait, isn't it? Oh, it is festival day. Oh, right. Yes. Um, so I need to make sure I go get the golden pumpkin. Right. Peter Piper picked a pair of pickled peppers. Uh, my favorite map, um, to be honest with you, I, I like the standard one. The other ones are kind of fun, too. Like, the beach one's pretty cool. There's definitely some cool stuff made on the beach farm, but... Uh, to do, if I was doing a challenge run, let me rephrase that. If I was doing a money run, I would just pick the standard farm because you have the most farmable spots. And if you're trying to have a massive farm to make lots of money, then you need those spots. Um, I kind of like the forest farm because you get forageables and hardwood right on the farm. So like that's super handy. Um, what else? Oh no! I just realized I can't go see Clint to buy ore, can I? Because it's going to be like, you can't go to town. The festival is being set up. Right. Okay, well, I have, I only need six more copper bars, so I should be able to do that. If I can get six more copper bars, we'll be good. All right, let's go get some copper. Um... Using the Four Corners map. Four Corners is fun, too. Uh, my wife really likes that one. She really digs the Four Corners map. I've never actually played it. I think I think I prefer the Four Corners map kind of later in the game. When you can actually, like, make paths and stuff between the areas. But I've never actually played it, so I don't actually know. All right, am I gonna find, so how much copper do I need? I need six, five, 30, I've got 20, 28 more. Am I gonna get 28 more copper? Oh, cave carrots, cave carrots are good for food too. Like I said, I just eat whatever, whatever I can get my hands on really. If I, like right now my energy is quite low. I'm not too worried about my energy because obviously I manage my energy myself. It's more, when I'm in the caves, it's more the, the health I'm more worried about because obviously if things are punching you in the face then you need to not let them punch you in the face. Sorry for bothering you. Oh no, it's all good. I'm happy to happy to chat about it. Absolutely happy to chat about it. Okay, one thing I'm not finding is copper. Which is quite sad. Whoops, oh there's one. One. Hmm. This is not great. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do now, actually, I'm gonna just eat some of my apricots. Save my cave carrots. Although I don't really need to have too much energy because 310, I only have like seven more hours in game before the festival starts, so. Hmm, to be aware of that. Um, oh, there's a ladder. Oh, crap. 
Are there, is there even any copper on these levels? Like, I don't even know if... Let me take a screenshot and see. Just need some copper right now. Um, no, I wonder if the, what the luck is today. I didn't, didn't actually check the luck today. I gotta remember to watch the TV tomorrow to get that recipe. Who do you who do you like to marry in game? Um, well, I've only got married twice. Once to, was the first time I did the perfection run. I already had a game going, and so I just married whoever. I, you, long story short, to do this in-game perfection, which is kind of like an in-game hundred percent, you have to marry somebody. So um, I married Emily because. She was the person I had the highest friendship with at the time. Uh, in this playthrough, I married Maru because um, this is going badly. Married Maru because I need. The honest truth is, I needed somebody. It was it was be easy to gift, and uh, Maru loves gold bars, and I happen to have a lot of gold. Um, how much do I have? 21. I'm actually not too far away. Need nine more. Nine more copper, and I gotta get it smelted. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. 24. There's one over there. Um, I've always thought that I wanted to. I would want to marry Leah because I am part, a bit of a musician, and I always thought, well. I'm an artist, she's an artist, why not, right? But I haven't actually, like I say, I've only ever married Emily, out of convenience, and Maru because it was easy. 32, we have enough, alright, let's get out of here. Oh, rock crab. Got it, yes, there we go. That's our last, actually, I might grab this copper while I'm here, too. That's our. So that's our last regular mine monster slayer goal we have to accomplish. What do you have to do to get perfection ending? Oh, well... Um, a lot of things. You have to... Okay, well, spoiler alert. If you don't want spoilers, then... Spoiler alert. Uh, where is the checkup? Where did I put that? Is it here? There it is. Okay. So to attain perfection in-game... Let me just see how much of this is actually a spoilerish. Uh, a little bit, but it's not terrible. Okay, so you have to ship every item. So in in the game right here on your on your where is it here collections, um, you have to ship everything. All of these items you have to put in your shipping bin and ship them overnight. Don't care about spoilers. Sweet. Okay, so you gotta ship every item. Uh, what else do you have to do? You have to get the obelisks. So from the from the wizard, you can buy these teleportation obelisks, basically. These big pillars that you saw when I zipped up to the mines, um, to the to the mountain area. Um, you have there's four of those. Um, you have to buy all four of those. You have to get a gold the golden clock, which is another thing you buy from the wizard, and that costs ten million gold. That's why right now I'm frantically trying to get as many kegs as I can to make lots of money. Uh, you have to complete all the Monster Slayer hero goals. So in the mine, uh, it's not going to show me the ones that aren't done, but basically, um, yeah, you get into the mines and there's a bunch of different um, uh, enemies you have to kill a certain number of. So you have to do all that. Um, and those goals, if you go to the, once you've been in the mines, you go to the Adventurer's Guild, which is over on the right. That's a lot of money. Yeah, um, it'll actually show you what all their Monster Slayer goals are and how what your progress is. Um, what else do you have to do? You have to max all friendship. So you have to be max hearts with everybody in Stardew Valley. So over here on your friendship tab, when you're giving them gifts and that sort of thing, you have to get everyone maxed out. The, the bad news is that if you don't give people gifts, is the ending worth it? We'll talk about that in a second. If you don't give people gifts or don't talk to them, your friendship will, your, will slowly decrease. So you have to actually get to max. Once you're max hearts, the friendship doesn't decrease. So you have to actually get to max hearts. Um, you have to have, you know, level 10 all skills with all your farming skills. So farming, mining, forging, fishing, combat, be level 10 across the board. Find all the star drops. So there is however many star drops there are. Um, you have to cook all the recipes. Um... 
which you actually can't do in less than two years in game because you get recipes every Sunday watching the TV and um, the last recipe you get, you get the last day of the second year. So there are some recipes I don't have yet, which is why I'm only 95%, but um, you need to cook all the recipes. You have to craft everything that you can craft. You have to catch every different type of fish and you have to find all the golden walnuts, which is a late game thing that will make sense once you get to that point. Um, but yeah. That's what we have to do to get profession. Is the ending worth it? Honestly, no. Um, but it's not about that as such. It's more just about completing perfection. You know what I mean? Like, it's not necessarily about... Um, I wonder if I should... Go to... No, let's go see if we can get some, co some coal. Um... Yeah, it's not something that you do because you want to see the ending. Like, that's not... That's not... I mean, for me, anyways, that's never been something I've ever done in Stardew Valley. It's always just been about wanting to attain it. And so that's why I set myself the goal of, of doing all that within two years in-game. Because it's a sweet challenge. And uh, what changes in the perfection ending? Nothing. Nothing changes. It's just uh, you get a cutscene, basically. Um... It's just something to say that you've done it. If you've done that, I think... I'm trying to think if there's anything in the game that you wouldn't have experienced. I don't think so. If you if you do that, you would have experienced nearly everything that the game has to offer. I mean, that and the achievements, right? Because there are, there are achievements you can do as well. So... Um, if you do that and you get all the achievements, then you, you've definitely experienced everything there is to experience in terms of a single playthrough. Obviously, there's, you know, you could marry, <clears throat> you could marry different people and whatever, but um, you would have experienced pretty much everything you can, you would normally experience in a game of starting. All right, there are my 18 kegs. Let's head back to the farm, get these kegs put in the house. Oh, wait a second. That's not true at all, because I only need, like, seven more kegs in the house. Some of the stuff seems more annoying than fun. <laughs> that is true. I do not have all the achievements in this game. I'll let me clear about that. Like, I'm probably never going to beat Journey of the Prairie King, for example. Or, or I shouldn't say that. I'm probably never going to beat Journey of the Prairie King without dying. That is the secret achievement. Is, uh, beat it without dying. So it's probably not going to happen. Um... Yeah, we'll sell that, and 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 those, why not? Um, okay, I can make them tree fertilizer, so I, I should do that. Uh, let's pop that in there. Make whatever tree fertilizer I can make. Now let's get these kegs dealt with, because I think I'm probably going to do... What am I going to do here? So once I... Oh, wait, there's more kegs there that are done. Once I get the... Yeah, I think I'm going to... I think I... Hmm, where should I put kegs next? I think I'm going to put the kegs by Clint. What tool do you usually upgrade first? Pickaxe. I usually upgrade the pickaxe first. The reason is because being able to mine more efficiently makes getting the resources you need to upgrade other tools easier. So I, d I usually do a pickaxe first. Uh, all right, let's um, let's do this. Let me grab some more star fruits, and let's put down whatever kegs I want to put down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we got whoops, that's not quite right. There we go. And we're gonna have um, I should have some more triple shot here. What tool is lowest priority? Ho? Yeah. <laughs> I would say the hoe, probably. I mean, the hoe can be kind of nice. It depends on your sprinkler situation, to be honest. Um, so, for example, like here, you can see with my sprinklers, so I've got, you know, well, I've got a qual quality sprinkler, which waters the eight spaces around it. And then I've got crops around the eight spaces around it. Um, 
so if you're doing that, what you can basically do is like stand in one place. I just realized I can't put these kegs down because I can't go into town. And when I do go into town, I'm not going to be able to put the kegs down anyway. However, these kegs... Let me think for a second. Is the watering can worth upgrading early? It's hard to say. Uh, I'm going to say no. Mm hmm. You know, it, it, it depends. It depends. Like, so for me, I did not. Um, it made watering very difficult in the early game, but I was trying to get to level, I think at level eight farming, you get the quality sprinklers that waters the eight spaces around the sprinkler, which is what I wanted. I didn't want to have the regular sprinkler, which just waters up, down, left, and right. Um... So once I got to level eight, level eight farming, get the recipe for to make quality sprinklers, I just start making quality sprinklers. And then you don't need your watering can anymore. Or just like occasionally, in which case you don't really need to have it, you know, any fancy for anything. So, um, yeah, it, hard to say. Hard to say. It kind of depends, again, on like, like, on what you're doing and how quickly and that sort of thing. So, um... I don't know what to do with these watering with these kegs. I have eleven kegs. I want to put them in town. I mean, maybe I just wait till tomorrow. I really don't want to wait till tomorrow, though. I really want to get them in now. Where else could I put them? I mean, I could put them in the mine. I'm there enough. Or I just put him here. I just put him in front of the bus. Because I'm here lots too. The villagers probably think you have a keg problem. <laughs> the villagers are right. So far, I have crafted... 707 kegs. Still hoping to get more, but we'll see. <clears throat> Again, I'm trying to get that 10 million. I have 2.5 million right now. I'm trying to get that 10 million so I can get that golden clock. Um, NPC can destroy stuff? Yeah, true story. That's why I'm kind of thinking like... So normally what I would do... Oh, I'm, like, I'm one day out... If I'd been able to do this yesterday, no problem. Tomorrow, no problem. It's just today doesn't work because I can't put them where I want to put them. I could put them on the farm somewhere. I mean, I guess I could start putting them on the farm because really after tomorrow, when all these crops finish, I'm going to have all this space to put kegs. So I can just put them right here. Maybe I'll just start putting them here, I guess. Oh, there's a Spirit Sea Festival. Yeah, let's just do this. I don't know if this is the best place for them or what, but that's where they're going. All right. Let me deal with my inventory, and then we will head to the Spirit Sea Festival. Uh, there's an NPC map online where it's safe to place them without being destroyed. Yes, I've definitely used that. Um... What I tend to, what I normally tend to do, I usually don't have enough kegs that, that that's really an issue. I just I put them in places where NPCs don't walk. So putting them in the quarry, for example, no NPCs go into the quarry. Um, in my house, on the farm, no NPCs walk around the farm. Um, um, the 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 bus tunnel, nobody walks there. Um, yeah, it's a really only if you're putting them in places where um, it's interesting because Maru is in bed right now, right? But she, I'm going to go to the Spirit Sea Festival and she's going to be there. <clears throat> All right, so let's just quickly go up to the train station again. Oh, and the mountain road as well. Nobody walks up the mountain road. Is that why you're housed up like that? Yep. Because I just need as many kegs as possible right now. And then once I have as many kegs as possible, I need a few more than that. There we go. All right, let's head into town. Pam walks to the bus if it's set up. Pam and Abigail walk there, actually. 
Abigail walks up there as well. And around here, like Linus walks up here, uh, Robin and Demetrius and Sebastian and a bunch of other people walk around up here. So is there anything I want to buy at the shop? I don't think so. Got all the rare crows. I've made the, yeah, we got Jack Lantern, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to grab the, uh, I'm just going to grab the uh, golden pumpkin and get out of here. Hey, there's Maru. Hey, I thought you were in bed a second ago. I forgot she's dancing at the bus stop, too. Yeah. Oh, Leo's here, too, actually. What does Leo have to say about this? I think I asked you that last year. But... Leo's chilling. All right. I, I, I'm pretty sure I can get the golden pumpkin again. Pretty sure that's a thing that can be done. Down, down. All right. Who is Leo? Ha <laughs> ha! Spoiler. I have to play the game to find out. So the the update that includes Leo just came out. I guess maybe a couple months ago or whatever. It's the Stardew 1.5 update. Um bunch of new content it is a fantastic update um yeah so definitely like once you um here's what i'll say befriend willie and uh complete the community center and you also need to get to the desert as well um because you need iridium so if you do those three things um you will get to meet Leo. Yes. All right, 1210. So uh, let's sell the golden pumpkin. I think it's worth like five grand or something. Um, I know he is. I, don't, I didn't know he came into the valley. Yep. Yes, he does. You have to have... What do you have to have with Leo? I'm trying to think of what level of friendship you need to have. Four hearts, six hearts, something like that with Leo, and then he'll there's a whole thing and he'll kind of go back and forth. Okay, do I have anything else I can smelt? No. So tomorrow, maybe I'll try and get a little bit more copper right now, see if I get lucky here. I didn't want to do this. That was a bad level choice. Also, he doesn't have a portrait. Oh, that was just on that. Uh, that's just the uh, the what should call it? The the festival thing. He don't. He does have a portrait. All right, let's get out of here. It's one twenty. I gotta get home. Am I gonna make it home in time? Oh yeah. Okay, we're good. Leave the mine. Did I get enough to smelt anything? One. So I'll smelt one. Bus stop. All right. So, 27th. Tomorrow's 28th. Got to make sure I watch the TV. Must watch the TV. Like, I have to watch the TV. Because <laughs> if I don't and I miss the recipe... I mean, there's a chance I could get it on, the, on, the, on Wednesday, but... Don't want to have come this far and miss a recipe now. Um, that can go in there. Uh, all right. So, t we're going to watch the TV. Ever pass out in this file? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Usually, you plan on it. Um, okay, so tomorrow, here's what, okay, let me just take some notes here. So, fall 28, so we got the golden pumpkin. So, we need to make sure we harvest the farm. We need to get recipe from TV. Uh, the greenhouse is going to be ready today as well. Um, and then... Starfruit is on Ginger Islands on the 5th. So I gotta be aware of that. I do want to get a pearl from the night market. Because that's going to be worth a little bit of money as well. Oof. Alright. Let's do it. 
Yeah, passing out in this is kind of, it's one of those things where you kind of have to weigh out, is it worth losing the money? Um, depending on what you are and what, when, where you are and what you're doing and that sort of thing. So a lot of times I just sort of, I kind of just plan on it. Ooh, I can make Fiddlehead Risotto. What's the luck today while well, I'm here? It's good luck. And tomorrow it's going to be sunny because it's the first day of winter. All right. Let's give Maru her bar. Oh, thanks, Maru. All right. So how are we doing with Maru? We've got 13 hearts. Excellent. Any fishing tips? Um, if you're struggling with fishing early on, what you can do is you can buy... Um, Willy has a rod for sale called the training rod, and what it does is it makes fishing way easier to let you get your fishing level up, but you can't catch high quality fish. So um, if you're struggling with fishing, yeah, try the training rod. <clears throat> that will probably be helpful. Um, I mean, honestly, just I would, you know, grind it out. But fishing is a bit of a grind, let's be honest. Like, fishing is not... Uh... Early on, it's it's a bit of a grind, but if you can get max fishing level, I mean, later on in the game, when you do want to catch a particular fish or whatever, you have a lot less to worry about, right? So it's definitely worth it to get your fishing level up. Ooh, I actually have more oak resin down there. Let's grab it. Let's grab it, and then I will go to the greenhouse. Okay, we're gonna do the greenhouse first so we can get the um, coffee on the go. And then, uh, <gasps> we got more star fruit done too. Uh, and then we'll harvest all the pumpkins. Are you using the forest farm? Yes, I'm using the forest farm because you get hardwood on the farm and you get forageables on the farm as well, which is super handy. The thing about um, the forest farm, the reason I picked it is because I wanted to have, especially the forageables, um, without having to go into the secret wood. So what I was able to do is I was able to get things like, you know, fiddlehead ferns, chanterelle mushrooms, um, that sort of thing, without having to upgrade my axe. So I didn't actually upgrade my axe for a while in game. You could get mushrooms easily, yeah. They, they do spawn. I mean, is it easy? It's, not, it's actually not bad, um, but just the fact that they spawn and you can get them is super handy. There we go. All right, so that drops off in there. All right, so let's go get some coffee brewing. Pet the pig on the way by. And let's... Uh... I did talk tomorrow today, right? Pretty sure I did. Yes, I did. Okay. All right, uh, let's get some coffee on the go. Three, perfect. Need that many. Drop those in there. Eat the wrong shroom. All this out of my way. Pop those up there. Actually, I don't need to have all these on me. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. Uh, actually, while I'm here, uh, no, maybe not. I should only make two more kegs. I need more copper, it looks like. Oof. Uh, so you probably could have had life elixirs if you wanted to. I have some, some, well, yeah. I never think of using them, to be honest with you. How's this farm space-wise? Not great. Not for farming. Um, for farming, it's not, it's not great. Um... Like I say, if farming spots are what you're after, standard farm is like has over three thousand, like which is awesome. Um, got more fire mess. We'll grab this hole in here. There we go. Um. But it's enough. I mean, it's enough to you know get you going. Farm in Spurs. 
honestly, the beach farm isn't bad. Um, I would have thought about using the beach farm, but you can't use sprinklers on the beach farm. Sprinklers do not work on the sand. So, so yeah, that was an issue for me. Had to have sprinklers. I didn't want to have to spend time watering crops every day. Especially not the number of crops I wanted to have, so... Well, this is uh, a bit of a landmark moment for me right now, because... These are the last crops I'm going to be harvesting on the farm. <laughs> this is... Uh... This is a bit of a, a milestone moment here. I mean, the good news is, yes, yeah, so whoever was that point out the other day that I could just put kegs on the farm, A, good call, and B, the good thing about that is now I don't have to put kegs anywhere else. So there's no way I'm going to fill the farm space with kegs, so... Did you try four corners? <laughs> yeah, I probably should. Probably should sometime. And my wife keeps telling me to try four corners as well. How am I missing a crop here? Did something what happened to that one? Oh well. Uh, yeah. Anyways. So this is good. So this is what I'm actually doing right now is clearing space for kegs. Probably not right right, 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 right now because I'll obviously put the kegs a bit closer to the house first. But um, yeah, this is this will be good. This will be very good. Oh, wait a second. And I can take these sprinklers. And, um, put them in the deconstructor and get something back. It might just be gold, though. That's the only problem. It's still money, though. I don't know if you can sell sprinklers. I think you can sell sprinklers, actually. I feel like you can sell them. It doesn't have some of the perks this map has. No, no. Four Corners is just is more about the, the novelty of the layout, right? Like, it's, it's nice that it has a little mining area. That's kind of handy. Um, where you can get, you know, get a few ores and stuff. That's kind of nice. Ores and geodes and stuff. Um, but... Um, but yeah, that's kind of... It's, you don't really get enough from that to... Like, that's not why you would pick that. You don't pick it because, well, I just want to have extra geodes, so I'm going to pick the... Like, you know, you just go mining for geodes. Um, but yeah, it is kind of neat, though. It is like a super neat layout. funny thing about these pumpkins is that I'm probably not even going to kick them. I'm probably not even going to be... I don't think I'm going to run out of starfruit to keg is what it comes down to. So there's only going to be one batch of pumpkins I'm going to need to do. That's right in the last week of the year if any kegs are done. And I have time to get... Uh, um, and I have time to get juice from them, then, I mean, we're talking like maybe 700 or so pumpkins. A bit of everything, that is true. That is true, Four Corners is a nice little map. So can I sell the sprinkler? Yes, I can. For how much? <laughs> so let's see here. Oh, I guess I should look up quality sprinkler. Quality sprinkler. Quality sprinkler sells for 450. If I put it in the reconstitutor, I'm gonna get a gold bar that sells for 250, or 375 at most. So it would be better to s sell them. Um. It better sell them. I should just sell them all. I should probably just sell them. Hmm. Let's think about that. So yeah, I have enough... I almost have enough regular quality pumpkins to do a complete round of kegs, which is just not going to happen, because that's just not going to happen. Um... So I, in theory, I could probably sell my gold quality pumpkins, in theory, possibly, hard to say. Uh, 
Okay, so that's all the coffee in. Make a bit more triple shots. Oh, I need to make a fiddlehead risotto as well. Uh, where's that at? There it is. Bam. We have made ourselves in fiddlehead risotto. So we'll have three recipes left to get. Bruschetta, which we get 21st of winter. Poppy seed muffin, we get the 7th of winter. Shrimp cocktail, we get 28th of winter. So I just have those three, right? So there's one there, one there, one there. I think that's it. Yeah, I just have three more to get. I was going to get the wiki. It looks like the forest farm has the lowest amount of farm space. Yeah, it's not great. It's real not great. Hold still, Maru. Okay, uh, so we've made a fiddlehead risotto. Um, now I need to make nine cakes. Now we have a problem. Now we have a problem. So, it is Sunday. Um, I need to start buying stuff for kegs, I guess. Um, okay, so the last day of fall. What else do I need to do today? We got the farm. We got the recipe. We did the greenhouse. On the first of winter, I can sell the pig as well. Oh, actually, I can sell the pig today after he goes back into the barn. Yeah. Could do that. Um, I should just I should just sell all these. Sell all these things. I should sell all the sprinklers. I should probably do that. Uh what's up, Blade? How you doing? We're almost over. How tight is it looking? My theory is that I should be okay if I sell the starfruit wine that I have in the kegs and whatever crops I have left over that I haven't. I should be fine. I haven't confirmed that, but I should be fine. I'm still making kegs as I can, which is what I'm doing right now where I'm going to purchase some resources so I can make some more kegs. Maru probably thinks you're crazy with all the kegs. Yeah, Maru is correct. All right, so I need not, I mean, I need like 10, 50, I don't know. Let's just buy like a hundred or something. hundred of those. And I'll buy a hundred of these, like 125 of these to miss so that I have the same number of copper and iron. And some coal. Buy like 20 more coal. 25 more coal. Whoops. All right. This is the problem, Blade, is that uh, it's like, yeah, okay, in theory I should have the income. But how much money am I spending to get more kegs and how much money I th actually I think I've bought all of the I've potentially bought all of the starfruit seeds I need potentially I can't remember if I have or not I might need to buy a few more but uh, we'll see okay so I need four more irons one two three four and then let's just do copper for the rest Okay. Uh, how you doing, Blay? What do you have going on right now in the do? Actually, while that's doing its thing, maybe I'll go see if my coffee's ready. And have we maxed out Maru yet? No, not quite. Okay. Hopefully one more day and we'll have max hearts with Maru. Ooh, our freezer jar's done. Let's throw something in a freezer jar. Let's throw... I don't know. Whatever. So, oops. Throw these guys in a preserve jar. Well, I guess I could have put the plum in there too. But... Oh, actually, I have three plums. Let's just do that. Uh, making slow progress in my spring 17 marriage run. Also planning a spring mu spring museum completion run. Spring museum completion run. Who's your least favorite character? Haley. Um, don't even have to think twice about that one. Spring Museum. <laughs> okay, so what's the strat to do is to complete the museum in spring? Like, because that just sounds like a lot of RNG. Like, that just sounds like... I mean, I guess, yeah, you're, you're manipulating... Oh, no, hold on. Can you manip artifact spots? I know you can do, like, you can figure out what's going on with the uh, geodes and stuff. In a way. If 
Fascinating. Oh, I haven't had any fresh shot today. Whoops, there we go. Really, why do you not like Haley? Oh, because Haley is just like whiny and selfish and whatever. Shallow and everything else. Okay, so I've got I need four more. I should wait for this iron to finish. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 1250. On the 28th, what should I do? Oh, I should have put the honey in the kegs as well. Um, okay, we gotta wait a couple uh, another hour or so for the iron, so wasting a lot of time going back and forth. I guess I could go check the uh What do things look like in the quarry, by the way? Looks good, okay. Let's go check the train station for more trees. Hey, what's up, Yahoo boy? Also, do you need a horse for 100%? No, you do not need to get a horse to get 100%. To get the perfection, I should say. You do not need a horse for that, fortunately. Otherwise, that'd be screwed. There are two artifacts that I require to get from artifact spots. I'm planning on having a seed that gives me the artifact I need day one. Ah. Fascinating. So yeah, you pick the right seed and you just get... So really... Aside from what, the prehistoric scapula, um, which, you know, the prehistoric scapula. Aside from the prehistoric scapula and... Oh, there can be fish, drop from monster artifact, trolls, right. There we go. So I guess it, technically if you had the right seed, you wouldn't need to have a, a huge amount of luck to get. Well, and there, it's, not, it's not a prehistoric scapula, is it? Because that you can get from skeletons. So what are the artifacts that you need to get from, specifically, that only, you can only get from artifact spots? Oh, can I make any more fertilizer? Oh, I can't make one. How long have I been playing Stardew Valley? I can tell you. I can tell you exactly how many hours. Hey, uh, okay, Blade, don't, don't, don't say yet. Blade, give me a second. Let me see how many hours I've played in Stardew Valley. Let me see what Steam says. And then I want you to tell me how many hours you've played in Stardew Valley. So I have 806 hours in Stardew Valley. 805.8 .8 hours in Stardew Valley. Blade, how many hours do you have in Stardew Valley? Uh, artifact spawns work as a pain. They're suited for spawning, but random for despawning. Ugh. Calculate after four spawns. So I have to track how they get placed, too. Ugh. Yeah, like, alright. Oh, you don't play through Steam? Oh, okay. I actually have, um, SMAP be launched from Steam, so it helps me help keep track. Anyway, the point is, everybody, that if you want to know someone who, uh, Blade is, like, well known in Stardew circles for being like god level Stardew player. Like, um, Dev, you were, earlier you were talking about how oh I seem like I know what I'm doing and stuff like that. Blade is one of those guys that like puts me to shame with the incredible stuff they do in Stardew Valley. Palm fossil and trilobite are the ones in the spots. Oh right, gotcha. Um. Yeah, Blade, Blade's the man in Stardew Valley. It's one of those people. So, oh, uh, one thing I haven't, sh I didn't show you, Dev, is um, this website right here. Let me go back, and I'm gonna uh, do this here again for you. So I'm gonna add a new game. I'm gonna call it Dev. Click on Dev. Here we go. So what this is is this keeps track of everything I need, and actually a few extra things. It has more than that. Um, but this keeps track of everything I need to complete, all the items I need to have collected to do everything you need to complete perfection. Um, and I made this myself. This is a website I threw together. 
Um, it's all, everything's tracked over here. So for example, it says you need to have 55 blackberries, but if I complete the, what, summer foraging bundle? So if I come down here, summer foraging bundle, there it is, I check this, check this off. It disappears from this list. Not P okay, that's not it. That was a fall foraging, hold on. Fall foraging. There we go, so now it says I need 54 blackberries. So this keeps this keeps track of everything I need, everything I still need to have to complete perfection. And I made this from scratch myself. This is um, this is PHP. Um, I did this in the LAMP stack. Well, I say LAMP stack. It's technically it's not Linux or Apache or MySQL. It's OpenBSD, HTTPD, Postgres, and PHP. So it's technically uh, oh. O, O H. It's not L A M P. It's O, H P. P, O. -P. <laughs> Technically, um, I'll be wanting to access. I'll be wanting access to use that at some point when I do perfection run. Um, I have it on GitHub. You should you should grab it off GitHub. It it runs in um. What's it called? There's a certain thing. I don't have this publicly because this is running on a, like a computer I have over in the closet over there. Um, uh, if I'd been smart, I would have done it in JSON and then you could just like, like, like the pr predictor or the checkup or whatever, you could store everything locally, but I'm not smart. Um, anyway, yeah, I have the source code on GitHub. If you look up perfection tracker or something on GitHub, you'll come across it. Um, and it runs on like a, I have it listed on GitHub somewhere where it says it, there's like a, a, a lamp stack thing you can download and it, it works on that. So it's ca uh, called like Uniserve or something like that, something like that anyways, and it runs on that. So if you, it, so if you don't have your own, you don't, you don't have your own server running a database and a web server, or whatever else you can run this like standalone thing. Um, anyway, the reason I mentioned that, how does it pull the info from the game? It doesn't, it doesn't pull the info from the game. Um, all of the in, all of this information is just stored in the in the database, and then you just mark off. Oh, I've done this. I've done this. I've done this. I've done this, and then these numbers all update as you complete certain things. Um, and you can group it by you know season, and then you can you've got like the reset option down here. Anyway, the the reason I even mentioned this is because th this kind of thing is child's play for Blade. Blade's the kind of guy who actually makes desktop apps. <laughs> to, to do this sort of thing um it's pretty wild it's pretty wild the stuff that uh the stuff that blade has going on so if you really want to know if you really want to like follow somebody and and check out their stream of, of somebody who really knows how to milk stardew for all it's worth make sure you follow blade but i'll even throw a link to let's throw a link to blade in the chat there we go um take me a while to make something like that different areas yeah, but 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 again, when you're making your own desktop app, you have to make your own interface. The reason I did it, like one of the reasons I did it as a website, is because um, the web browser handles my interface for me. All I have to do is design the design it, put a, a style sheet on it. Couldn't you automate it where it pulls the actual game data? Thank you, Dev, for the follow. Um, n yes, to a point. Well, I mean, and this that's what the uh, the Stardew Checkup does right here. If you, if you kind of, I guess it doesn't really break down. Like you haven't cooked this, here's the items you need. Um, there's nothing that kind of does exactly this. The, the reason I wanted to have this is because I wanted to have, have like instant count. How many do I need right now? Because the game only, only saves only, you only, you only update the save file once per day. If I, you've done three things in a day, you don't know what you, what you need or what you don't need or whatever. So this gives me instant updates. If you don't care about instant updates or you don't care about knowing that you need to have one coconut and one wild horseradish left, then just use this right here. This is the Stardew checkup. It's on GitHub as well. Um, if you just look up, you know, mousy hound Stardew, I'll just put a link. There. Um, if you just look at, look, if you just do that, um, yeah. This, this, if you don't want to have the specific details of each individual thing that you need to have in your inventory, um, this will do the job for you. Easy peasy. You can use Electron to build desktop apps that basically have the same browser functionality. I think I thought about doing that. Why didn't I do that? I, th I thought about, I think, well, the reason I did the web page is because I'm, I'm more familiar with, um, like, web stuff. 
I don't think I've ever built... Okay, I technically have built a desktop app before, but it was text-based. And uh, we'll talk about that. That's a, that's a story for another time. Um, anyways, um, it was many years ago. But yeah, and I did, and mainly did as, a as a technical exercise as well because I already had a Postgres web Postgres server running for uh, something else I had going on at the time. So I'm like, oh, let me. I've never done this before. Let me try this. So it was more than anything. It was more of like a learning learning exercise for me. Hopefully, I'll actually find a proper use for it one day. A, my iron's probably done. Probably should have. Uh... Oh, I need more iron too. Crap. Um. Ah, whatever. I got time. Do you have a background in IT or more of a hobby? Yes and yes. A little from column A, a little from column B. I realized recently, actually pretty soon, what day is it today? Next Sunday, um, if I remember, hopefully I remember, um, on stream, I'm going to have a minor celebration because next Sunday marks the 20th, mind you, the 20th anniversary of my first domain, of me buying my first domain. I bought gotgrip.com almost exactly 20 years ago. So, uh... I'll probably I'll probably dig up some old uh, some old videos and stuff and play some videos from the early days, but yeah, I, I put my first web, my first website went up in where did I do my first website? Um, ninety six, nineteen ninety six. I had my first put my first website up. Wow, that's wild. So yeah, I've been doing that for a long time. Congrats. Will it, we show what a first site looked like? I probably have it some. My first .com I probably have somewhere. My first website, um, whew, mercy, it was ugly. Yike. Good. It was like, yeah, it was kind of embarrassing how bad it was. I mean, whatever, live and learn right at the time. Didn't know what I was doing and whatever, but... But yeah, it was definitely something to behold. I'll tell you that. Crap. I need two more coppers. Whoops. Fine. Uh, all right. Um, Sue, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a keg like here. I... Actually, maybe I should put them... Oh, I'm going to put them over there instead. Put them right here? Is it here? Oh, here. Uh, okay, uh, equals. <clears throat> I remember being in school, writing HTML sites, thinking I was doing something, then I graduated and found a framework's life changed. Yeah, I held on to... I did my website from scratch for a long time. I held on for a long time before I st even switched to uh, using a content management systems. Um, by the time I switched to using con uh, content management systems, they were like old news. And now I'm just lazy. I just use WordPress for everything. Okay, um, so I need two copper. Uh, oh, I was going to put the, uh, put those in there. Um, I think we're actually pretty close to being, I think we're pretty close to being ready to start banging out some Skull Cavern runs. Ever use Laravel? No, I'd never use Laravel. What's that? Ooh, I should have gone to the... Actually, I still can. Actually, I was like, oh, no, I should have gone to the mines today. Or should I, I mean, should have gone to the desert today and traded for traded my jades in for staircases. I got the obelisk. Let's do it. A PHP framework? No. 
Never even used a framework before. Not for not for that. All the PHP stuff I've done has been from scratch. Uh, staircase. There we go. Lovely. And while I'm here, actually, do I have any uh, rubies or anything? Um, no, I'll leave the fiddlehead risotto there. Why not? I always have too much food with me. Let's keep doing that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so let's go. Hopefully my iron's done. And then I can finish um, making the kegs for the day. Get some star food in the kegs. And yeah, then we'll be pretty much be good to uh, it'll be good to start with the skull caverns. Okay, uh, Sue, I'm mean, gonna just wait here for this. Honestly, like, what else am I gonna do? Go see if we can get some more coal or something. All right. Yeah, I don't think I've ever... I'm trying to think if I've ever... Ooh, energy's low. Um, can I go over here without using any energy? <laughs> yeah, I can! Come here, where I require your coal. There we go. Uh, Alright, let, let me eat a few of... Uh, let me eat a few of these guys. Oh, wait, there's some more coal here. I will eat something here in a second. I just want to get the coal if I can. Ooh, got a bomb there. Nice. All right. Uh, let's chow down. Eat a few of these. That's probably fine. No, no. That's what I wanted to do. All right, let's throw in some more iron. Or not. And bust up. And kegs. And farm. And yeah. Okay. Sell, sell. Sell, 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 sell. Yeah. And star fruit. Oh. Star fruit. Uh. <laughs> Just trying to put kegs inside the kegs. Yo, dog, I heard you like kegs, so you put kegs inside your kegs. 10.50 p.m. Let me just see if the quarry is done as well. I think... I don't know. I can't remember. Yes. Okay. It's too late for me to do all these kegs, and I don't want to... I might just go to bed and do it the next day. What got me into streaming? Um... Uh, to be honest with you, it started with um, <clears throat> the streamer formerly known as Brown Man, Ray Narvaez. He um, started streaming full time a number of years ago now, and uh, I kind of thought, "Hey, what the heck? I can give that give it a shot." And um, so I bought a, a computer. I'm actually playing on it right now. Well, I shouldn't say that. I bought all the pieces for a computer. Um, I feel bad going to bed at 11.30. I feel like I should be going to make more money or do something. Oh, actually, I can cut these trees down now. They're not going to give me any fruit tomorrow, so... Let's get the wood. So yeah, I bought a computer, and I was going to... Originally, the plan was to stream VR games. Um, so I bought all the bits and pieces I needed to for a computer that could play VR games. I pre-ordered the original HTC Vive, and uh, ended up not ended up not streaming that much VR. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would try it, and I've been enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun. So, 
I wish there was an edit of Mayor Lewis saying he's worried about you with a picture of the house of love kegs. Oh, I'm sure somebody could mod that. Oh, I guess what I could do right now is I could get these uh, sprinklers sold. Ooh, bad time to lose my triple shot. That's no, okay, we'll be fine. Uh, sell a few more things. Sell you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And I think we're good. Let's throw the crab cakes in there. I should really start eating some of this stuff. And I think we're good. All right. So, let me grab a bunch more star fruit. Um, like that much more. I don't know. And, uh... All right, so let's get some kegs done. Anyway, yeah, stream's been a lot of fun. Met a lot of great people. Had the chance to go to like, I think three, twi four Twitch cons, three Twitch cons, four Twitch, three Twitch cons, three Twitch cons. Um, three, four Twitch cons. I don't know. Are kegs the best way to make money? Blade. <gasps> I need to do the greenhouse today too. Dang. Oh, let me give this to Mara real quick. We maxed her out? Not quite. Not quite. Hey, what's up, Arctic Wolf? How's the air quality? Not great. It's not great, let me tell you. I mean, it's definitely... It got, it got super bad today. Like, For those of you who don't know, I live in, in British Columbia, and we have a lot of fires around right now. Um... I got more kegs, too. Uh, so yeah, the air quality was not great. Last weekend, we had like one day where it was really, really nice, and then the smoke kind of rolled back, and today it was super, super, like, as bad as I've seen it kind of thing. Super, super bad and socked in. And it started to lighten up a little bit, but, um, yeah, it's not been great. Kegs make a lot of money for little work. My favorite. Some more star fruit. Got eleven oak resin. Dang. Oh, actually, yeah. If I get some more copper bars going, I'll be fine. Cause I already have I have some iron in the in the mine right now. Yes, we'll be good. Sweet. Wait, I don't need to do the greenhouse today. Okay. You're Canadian? Yes, I am Canadian. Um, what, who do you think is the hardest person to max friendship with? Kent. <laughs> Kent is definitely the hardest person to max friendship with. Because he only loves, aside from the universal loves, he only loves Philhead Risotto, which you don't get the recipe for until the end of fall. And hazel, uh, roasted hazelnuts, which you don't get the recipe for until like the summer after you meet him, so... Um, I think the, what up, Wathman? The, I think the only thing that comes close to kegs is truffles. There's no way to scale up as much as you can with kegs. Yes, that is true. Kegs definitely scale much. Why aren't I drinking triple shot espresso? Kegs definitely scale better. Okay, uh, let's go to the mine first. Yeah, and, and, and get as the, whatever we need to, f to make 11 more kegs. They say winter is when fires will end, in so many words. Yeah, I've heard that, which is a little depressing. I've heard that um, it's been so hot and the fires tend to burn for so long that, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a while before um, the fires die down. Which, I mean, you know, what do you do, really? Okay. Here we go. Let me know if I miss anybody. Everybody. Anybody? Let me know if I miss any kegs today, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everyone. Chat. <laughs> I'm 
I'm trying to think of what the best way is to say what I just said, but in a way that actually makes some kind of sense instead of whatever the hell I just said. The point is, if I miss putting a starfruit in a keg, do feel free to let me know. When it comes to refilling kegs, backseat, backseat gaming is very much appreciated. Because every keg I miss is three grand. Um... I'm a Canadian, eh? I don't hear a Canadian accent. What are you talking about? Uh, we used to smoke Doom Maria or Expert Air players. Say the word sorry. Sorry? Uh, smoke brands that used to end in A. Case I had a specific accent. Yeah, it's kind of, um, it is interesting. I think some words I say have a bit of a weird inflection to them, but for the most part, I mean, and maybe it could just be because I'm Canadian, but I think that Canadians do have a fairly neutral accent, personally. Just in terms of like, when you learn phonics and you learn how words, how words and letters are supposed to be said, um, I think that uh, Canadians have a fairly neutral. Aside from Newfoundlanders. Uh, Bob and Doug McKenzie, take off, eh? You don't say sorry the Canadian way? Oh, sorry. Uh, Alright, so let's go back to the bus stop. I think everything else is going to be in the house, if I'm not mistaken. So how much do I get? So how much do I have? So I got 314 so far. Oh crap, I forgot to get the iron from the mine so I could make the rest of my kegs. Oops. That was a mistake. You made a killing with takeoff A buttons. I bet you did. Okay, so now the problem we have is I have eight iron bars, six copper bars, and 500 wood. So tomorrow, depending on my harvest of oak resin, I'm going to need to buy some iron and some copper. Which is a bit of a thing. When you learn that some places have an accent difference between a rich and average. Yeah. What I find wild is, like, in the UK, just how many different... I mean, when you're... When you're, um... When you've been around, for, when your country's been around for, you know, a thousand years, it's pretty wild how many uh, different accents there are. It's such a small area, too. Like, it's, the UK is not a large, not a physically large country. But it's just, it's just got such a long history that there's so many different accents. Can I miss a kick there? I don't think so. This is good. This is a good. This is going to be a very telling harvest of of uh, Starfruit wine. The, the amount of money I make today is going to really determine whether or not I can pull this off. Ignore my keg layout, by the way. I really kind of screwed the pooch a little bit, and this keg layout's not ideal. Suboptimal. Reset. Stinking window! That window gets me every time. You know what? This window's gotta go. This window's gotta go. I just, I can't deal with the window. Um. Say sorry? Oh, I see. Yeah, sorry. When you learned so, uh, actually just take off. Um. Or the, the mouse in the beer bottle was a funny thing that Bob and. I don't think I've heard that one. Poor Pooch. Had a, poor Pooch. <laughs> I had a Celtic accent being brought up in Ottawa Valley and Aussie, like, g'day, I'm from Ottawa Valley. Oh, interesting. What should I do with this window? Why don't I just leave the window out? And by out, I mean not in. I'm not going to refill that one. I try to refill that one last so I know when that keg is done, there's a lot of other kegs that are done. Look at this. 
Very nice, very nice. Did I actually finish making... Yes, I did, okay. Did I actually finish making the kegs? Triple shot ran out, which I'm actually not super mad at because... Kind of help me make sure I don't miss anything. I think I got it all. Looks pretty good. So we've got 535 starfruit wine. That's good. Sorry, wasn't trying to be so, so, sorry. Wasn't trying to be offensive. I just noticed most Canadians pronounce sorry differently than in the U.S. Yeah, it's true. It is true. <clears throat> uh, all right, I got 11 more kegs to put down out here somewhere. Okay. Um, when the Irish came here, the, they, the government, did not know what to do with them, so they had them in socks. Uh, so I don't know, I'll just put it here, I guess. Alright, let's... Uh, that was a mistake. I gotta walk around. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, we have completed the Great Keg Refill 2021. So we got 535. What is that going to... What, 3150? How have I forgotten how, what Starfruit Wine sells for? Starfruit Wine sells for 3150 a piece. So what is... Wait for it. 3150 times 535. 1.6. I was for sure going to get you to say the Canadian way, but you threw me off. <laughs> Ottawa is now totally multicultural in all of Canada. All of Canada is multicultural. It's one of the best things about it. 1.6 mil. So here's the thing. Like, my, my kegs are not all synced up. So, I mean, I've got 535. The good news is that... I've made 729, so I have almost 200 kegs beyond this. Almost, not quite. I'm six short. Plus, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Call it 10. So I've got 719. What's 719 minus 535? 184. What's that times 3150? Another half a mil. So right now I'm making 2 million per round of starfruit wine. So in theory, if we look here, today's the first. So I'm going to make 2 million, 2 million, 2 million. That's another 6 million. I'm going to have 3, almost 4 million today. Because what, cause what was the last number? 1.6? 2.6. So I'm going to have 4 million today. So in theory, how close am I to my goal? In theory, I should make it. In theory. In theory, I should make it. Because I'm not going to get to keg all of my crops. I'm not going to have enough um, kegs. So with the starfruit wine, assuming I actually keep starfruit wine in the kegs all this time, which I should, I'm actually not sure. Um, in theory, I might pull it off. I might pull it off. Americans cannot look at us as how we once were, and we in Canada can look down on Americans because our education tends to be higher than theirs. That's not saying much. Uh, how close are you to your goal? Yeah, that close. A to Zeke, auto quick qualities. I have a toxic way of making 30 million in a day. 30 mil in a day? Is that the, the um, that's not, is, that, is that the casino? Did you do that in the casino? I did talk to Mario today, right? Yep, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think, well, P Piano Addict was here earlier, actually. I was talking with him about that, and I was kind of like, eh. If I have to resort to that, I'd kind of feel like I didn't really do it. 
I know I shouldn't feel that way. I mean, a, a win's a win, but there we go. That window makes no sense, but that's where the window's going to go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm a guy who named Joe Box for Billion Brand for Kmart. Oh, shit. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I should probably swing by... Should I swing by Clint or should I go to the desert? I need to go to the desert because I still need a lot of mummies and a lot of serpents. Um, so I should probably work on that a little bit. Because I need 33 mummies and 51 serpents. Yike. All right, let's do that. Um, let's deal with some inventory. So we're going to leave you behind. We're going to leave you behind. We're going to leave you behind. Um, may as well leave those guys behind. And then I'll just leave all that behind and leave... I'll take some coal with me because I might need it to make bombs. I've got stone. Oh, yeah, stone on me. Whatever. Fiber can stay. That's food. All right, let's quickly check this chest. Food, food. I should really start selling some of this stuff. Is there anything else in here that I want? Oh, strange bun. I think it doesn't have a buff on it. All right. Um, all right, desert. Wait for it. Um, yeah, we're good. Okay. Yep. I'm going to be Dollatorial Book of Two, Mummies and Daddies. Why did I pick that up? I always pick up the things for. Cause I'd not pick things up. Alright. Here's what we're going to do I'm not going to fill my inventory with food this time, but we'll take some. Uh, we're going to take some... A couple spicy eels should do. Probably only need one, to be honest. I'm going to get more. Um, we'll take some staircases, some bombs, some extra stone. Stuff to make... Uh, what should we call them? Mega bombs. Um, take those mushrooms. <sighs> going to regret doing this when taking all this food with me. Uh... You know, I'm not trying to get deep. I'm just trying to get baddies. Let's get, let's go. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Whoops. Mummy, sweet, sweet, and iron. Mummies, though. Oops. Any more mummies? Mummies and daddies. I don't think so. Not that they're worth getting. Okay, that was a good start. That was a good start. We caught some mummies right away. Sorry, bootleg swag. I cut, cut, no regrets, even in one letter. Okay, I don't care about this level. Uh, ooh, serpents. Nice. I like oh there's some iron over there. Oh another serpent, need that. Another serpent, sweet. This is exactly what I need. And a triple and a spicy eel. Okay, well I guess I didn't have to bring two spicy eel with me. Oh, more serpents. Whoops. It's a good thing I'm so bad at video games, or else I might not have to eat so much food. Who is Dev? Dev's new. Dev is new peoples. And what else can I eat? Maybe... Everything I have is like super high energy. I feel like it'd be kind of a waste. So maybe I'll just kind of keep an eye on things and hope for the best. Oh, serpent. Keep an eye on things and uh, hope for the best. Alright, well, I'll grab this. This is good. This has been... <laughs> This has been sweet. Got a ladder, that's excellent. Oh, they'll grab this ruby though. Did I see some, oh. But I thought that uh, aquamarine though was iridium there for a second. I mean, I'll take it, but run. Uh, yeah, I should probably eat something. Uh, let's eat this pink cake. Why not? There we go. 
All right. Need more mummies. Blade, there's no way to, like, ma manipulate baddie spotting. It's, I mean, other than monster musk, but... I really need some more mummies. Like, serpents are everywhere. I'm not worried about serpents, even. But the mummies are a concern. Nope, crap. Actually, I heard a serpent somewhere. I heard two. Ah, whatever. Can reset floor one over and over again? Oh, that's true. That's actually not a bad idea. I might do that if, it, if I uh, if I get to the closer to the end and I haven't... Uh, I still need to get some... Ho hopefully I'll have... You know, I'll get enough. Is it a good luck today or something? What's going on? Where are all the baddies? Where do you suppose all the baddies are? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy that I'm getting some ore, but... All right, we might need to start bombing. Sure help if I face the right way. All right, let's just bomb this whole thing. Let's just bomb it. There we go. 6.30, all right. Oh, nice, crit. Oh, triple shot ran out. Hmm. Oof, this hammer though. Can you imagine if I actually had it primed with the goal? Oh my goodness, with the galaxy souls too. Nice. And a red mushroom. Oh my goodness, that's. Ah, I don't have the. Oh my goodness. Oh, I need to eat something. Mild panic there. There we go. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. All right. Uh, I should really... I should make some mega bombs, actually. I don't have any gold on me, though, do I? No, I don't have two gold, and you need... How much do you need to make a mega bomb? Four. Whoops. Sure brought some gold with me. Never mind. Throw a bomb there. There's a ladder. There's some more copper. This is actually really good. This is going to save me having to buy it, but I'm probably going to have to buy some more coal, maybe, but at least, uh... At least my timing's really bad. I may be bad at video games, but at least my timing sucks. I'll probably eat something before I go to the next level. Uh, let's eat some... Okay, let's start deleting some stuff here. Um, and let's eat... I'm going to eat a rhubarb pie. Don't even like rhubarb. But only because rhubarb is disgusting. Alright. Oh, we got some more copper. This is definitely going to be a bomb level. Put down some cherries. There we go. Got ourselves a ladder. I think I saw... Oh, the ruby. I'll take the ruby. Uh, you know what I should actually do? Oh, you know what? I think I was looking to see how much rubies sell for, because you trade rubies... <gasps> there could be mummies here. You trade rubies for spicy eel. And I think I got like 30 spicy eel or something ridiculous. Um, but rubies themselves sell for more than spicy eel sell for, so I have to remind myself to not just mindlessly trade rubies for spicy eel. Bomber's mind blown. Ooh, another uh, mummy. Yes, give me the mummies. Actually, I think we can grab this gold too because uh, I can actually make a mega bomb. What does spicy eel do? Spicy eel gives you plus one luck and plus one speed. So I combine the plus one speed from my triple shot espresso with the plus one speed from a spicy eel. And I'm super zoomy. And also faster. Although, I probably shouldn't have used spicy eel. I probably should have used... Crab cakes. Because crab cakes don't increase your luck, and I don't really want luck right now, because I want baddies to spawn. 
Did not think about that. Oh well. Never mind. Alright, let's do some bombing. Put one there, and then if that doesn't give me anything. Let me look at that. Eee, more mummies. Yeah, spicy eel's pretty nice to have in the skull cavern. Second only, well, in my opinion, anyway, second only to magic rock candy, which gets you, like, plus four luck or plus five luck or something like that. Which helps when you're trying to get iridium. When you're trying to get down in the mine really far. Oh, cave carrots. How many cave carrots? One? I'm just gonna eat it right now. So it's 10 p.m. Got 48 iron, 50 copper. And I'll take it. I'll make me another 10 kegs. There's a the ladder. Ooh, this level. Got this iridium though. <laughs> prismatic shard. I let me tell you, normally I do not get that many prismatic shards. I've had so many prismatic shards this run. Wow. So there's like th So there's th three iridium nodes and they're all and they're all crabs. All rock crabs. What the heck? Oh, my spicy eel's running out. Uh so what the heck? I've got got six. Let's spam spicy eel. I also think I'm going to make myself a mega bomb or three, and I'm just gonna bomb everything everywhere all the time. <laughs> Thought I got another iridium thing there. Do you think building the stables is worth it? I I have never actually had a horse in Stardew. Um, later in the game, you can get a horse whistle, which allows you to summon your horse to wherever you are. That would be a bit more worth it, I would think. But I personally have never, um, I've never bought a horse and started. For me, I never did because, um... I just found walking, once you get your speed buffs, once you get your coffee going and whatever, it's like you're fast enough. Oh, it's midnight. I want that serpent, though. Come here, serpent. All right. Uh, so yeah, I just never, um, never got into the horse thing. Is coffee faster? Well, the thing is, that, well, the, inter the interesting thing is that I think your horse, if, if you drink coffee, your horse gets faster, too. I think your horse... Maybe Blake can confirm that. Um, that your horse speed scales up with your speed as well. So, um, yeah, there you go. So really, um, if all you want is the speed, then I mean, go for it. Horse up. All right, I think, I think I'm good. Let's get out of here. Horse gets a horse gets a contact high. Oof. I want this stuff though. Alright. Let's call it good. It's 1 a.m. It'll give me time to get back. Well look at that. I almost didn't fill my inventory. I, I almost didn't take too much food. Or I almost didn't take too much food this time. Alright, so let's leave a bunch of stuff here. Gotta go have fun. See you later, Blade. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping in, man. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, that can stay, that can stay. What else can stay? Mushrooms, that can stay, that can stay. Uh, crab cakes, I'll take. I'm gonna leave them here. Hopefully I'll remember next time to use crab cakes. Um, leave that here to make bombs. Actually, I'll take some of these back with me. I'll take like a hundred. I don't know, I'm gonna end up selling them all anyways, but. All right, uh, what else can stay? Should leave some stone, I guess. Ah, uh, the jades. The prismatic. What are the mushrooms for? Ah, uh, for food. Purple mushrooms and the magma caps are all for food. The red mushrooms I'll just sell. You don't 
I mean, the, the red mushrooms take your energy away, but the purple mushrooms are good for food. Uh, I guess I could leave the Omnis, potentially. Return Scepter 2, but 2 million might make it too expensive for time restriction. Yes, that's the problem. I would love to buy the Return Scepter, but I definitely will not have enough, mo enough money to, to get both the Return Scepter and um, make the 10 million I need for the Gold Clock. I mean, fingers crossed, maybe I get lucky and maybe I do, but it's probably not going to happen. Uh, all right, anything else I want to leave here? I don't think so. I'm going to take the um, rubies and sell them because I've got 42 spicy eel. Whoops. Uh, so, I mean, the good news is, I mean, this is worth like 12 kegs right here. So, in theory, I should have enough ore. Couldn't help it. I should have enough ore. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get 12 oak resin tomorrow. Like, I don't think that's going to happen. Who knows? Maybe I will. I don't know. I'm just not entirely convinced that's going to be a thing. All right, so let's zip back to the farm. We'll sell some stuff. Return scepter? Yes, you buy it from Krobus, the dude in the sewers. Um, whoops, should have left the miners' treat behind. Oh, well, next time. Uh, sell the ruby, sell the aquamarine, sell the cloth, sell, 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 nice. Um, yeah, and what it does is it warps you right back to your front door. It's like a, it's like a, a totem, like one of these warp totems, it warps you right to your front door from wherever you are. It's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm going to grab all that. Um... I'm also going to grab a gold bar from inside the house. What does it do? Literally that. You right-click on it like a... Um, like a regular totem. And it, yeah, it takes you right back to your front door. It's it's pretty nice. We're going to grab a gold bar for waifu. going to throw some more star fruit in these few kegs right here. And you know what? I got time. It's, one, it's only 1.40 a.m. Let's sell these five more. And uh, let's drop those in there. I was, forgot to shouldn't have brought those with me. Sorry, chat delay. Oh, it's all good. It's weird that it's delayed that much, actually. I thought I had like the low latency chat thingy on, but oh, well, whatever. Uh, okay, so let's go to bed. So we made 1.7 million in total. 1.7 million clear in Starfruit Wine. So that's good. Um, I asked the question a few seconds before you... Oh, I see. Is there a benefit to keeping Maru happy with gifts at this point in the game? Yes, because you have to max everyone's friendship, which officially I've done, but you, I, but it doesn't... You have to keep talking to your spouse and gifting your spouse to get max... Like, I don't have max friendship with Maru because I married her. So we'll have a look here tomorrow. I think I only have 13 hearts. I need 14. Let us confirm that fact. So right now I've got 13 hearts with Maru. Let's give her a loved gift. And chat. And hug and kiss. And still 13. So hopefully tomorrow, like Wednesday or Thursday this week in the game, um... I should max that out. And then that will be officially max hearts with everybody to keep the game happy. Thought you were maxed. It was, yep. <laughs> then we got married. What I, If I had been smart, what I would have done is got married super early in the run and then divorced them and then still had time to get back to, to eight hearts with the, with, the, with a marriageable thing. And then I'll have to worry about... I don't... I think it does. I think the 14 hearts does decay. I think you have to... I don't. I won't have to keep giving her gifts, but I have to make sure I talk with her every day, do the hug and the kiss thing every day, and then it should be fine. In theory. Okay. So, let's just do some checks. And let's see what we have going on for next time. So, we've got... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... We have 15 oak resin. I might have enough. I might have enough. I might have enough. So let's, let's pull, my, pull my notes up here. So we're going into winter three. Yike. Or winter two, rather. 
Whew, heavens. Okay, so winter two. So we want to cut down more trees. Uh, we need to kegs, obviously. Need to get ore slash wood for 15. Uh, the greenhouse, if I'm not mistaken, we can go check the greenhouse. I could sell the pig as well. Sell pig. I uh, get if you get a bit of money from the pig. Yep, we gotta grab coffee from the greenhouse today. So greenhouse, green hose. What greenhouse? Um. So basically, that's all I really have to do. I just gotta keep making kegs. Um. And then on the fifth, the star fruit's done. So on Ginger Island, the next batch of star fruit's done. So I gotta make sure I have. Uh, let me make sure I have enough star fruit to replace the star fruit I'm gonna be picking up. Let's make sure we have that. I should have some in this chest right here. Hopefully. Okay, I do have enough, but I need to buy... How many more batches do I need to buy? So today's the 5th. Uh, or it's going to be done on the 5th with Deluxe Speed Grow. So then we do the 14th. And then... Uh, sunflowers, whoops. Delete that. Plant crop. Star fruit with Deluxe Speed Grow. On the 23rd. So we have to plant today... What? Is that right? I guess it is, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I only need so I need this I need this round of star fruit, which I have. I need to buy one more round of star fruit seeds. So I'll probably I mean I could do that. I'm going to the desert anyway, so buy another I think it's like 605 or something. I'll buy a 610. Star fruit seeds. Um, so that will give me, that will make sure I've basically spent all I'm going to spend on crops. I won't have any more, um, I won't have anything more to spend on crops. Or I won't have any more reason to buy crops, basically. I mean, there'll be a few in the greenhouse, but other than that, that's going to be all that is. Um, okay. So, yeah, and then how, and then what do I even have in the greenhouse for star fruit seed right now? I think I have, I'm not sure how many I have, actually. I've got 83, which isn't bad. Um, I could use some more for the greenhouse as well. So maybe I should buy, like, is 700 too many? No, it's not. So I could buy 700. Mm, uh, hmm, it might be. Maybe I'll buy like 650 or something. Buy another 650. That will make sure I have enough for Ginger Island and enough for the greenhouse for a while. I don't want to overbuy if I can at all help it. So that shouldn't be too many if I buy 650. It should be fine. Because I'm going to get another, well, for sure, two more plantings in the greenhouse as well. Maybe three. So... Yeah, because I've got hyper speed growing the greenhouse. I'll, I'll have to I'll have to keep an eye on that toward the end of the month, uh, just to make sure I don't buy more star fruit seeds and I can actually finish by the twenty eighth. Um. Yeah, so that's basically the good plan for next time. We have some more trees we're gonna cut down. I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna do that. How long did it take you to unlock Ginger Island? I did it as quickly as a normal human being could do it. I had it unlocked by the, I think the 13th of fall or something like that. Cause you have to finish the community center and you have to repair. There's a, a boat that Willie has that you have to repair that you need stuff for. So I made sure I had the stuff ahead of time and um, did the community center. So I think the 13th of fall or 15th of fall, something like that. I had it unlocked something like that in year one. Uh, so that's pretty much as quick as you could do it for a normal human being not if you're like blade or somebody but uh 
yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, the plan for next time, I'm not sure about cutting down the trees. I'm not sure about that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to want to take the time to do that, so we'll see. But definitely we'll get 15 more kegs made and get starfruit in them. Definitely going to sell the pig. That's easy. We'll definitely harvest the greenhouse so I can get more triple shot. And then I'll pop by the desert, buy another 600 and something starfruit seeds. And then we're just going to do skull cavern runs. Uh, skull cavern run. And that's basically it. I will just quickly check the luck today. And just see. Let's just eat this right now. Thank you, Yahoo Boy, for the follow. I will just see what my luck is today. Best luck. So yeah, today would be a really great day for Skull Cavern. So yeah, that's the plan for next time. Kegs, starfruit seeds, Skull Cavern. Bam.